Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on some bootlegged Monster High dolls I got from you, Keenan. Which of these Frankies do you think is the fake? Let's see if you can tell which one's the fake Draculaura by her hair. So the outfit that Frankie came with had nice silver little shoes on, but once you get up to the dress part, it looks very like Barbie. It looks nice on her, but it doesn't scream how Frankie mostly dressed herself, which is a lot of times I've seen Frankie has like plaid or checker patterns. The shoes that Claudine came in reminds me of more what Cleo would wear. And when it came to her outfit, it looked very cheap. It was just like something you would find on a dollar store Barbie than on something that would probably cost five bucks or more. I'm not going to be sure if I'm going to say it this way, but the Boulay Rebella's shoes look actually like the official shoes that the doll wears. The only problem with this one is, again, an outfit that looks too much like something Barbie would wear and doesn't scream Monster High. And last but least, we have Draculaura. Now, this outfit kind of almost reminds me of the bedtime Draculaura's outfit, probably because it's pink and it looks like she's ready for bed. Now, I don't care for the shoes she came with because it doesn't scream bedtime. But other than that, I think the outfit actually looks cute on her. When playing around with the Monster High's joints, I discovered there's practically no difference between the two. They're able to move the arms in the same direction, bend their legs in the same direction, move their heads in the same direction. Under all that clothing, the Monster High bodies don't look too different from each other. But looking at their feet, you can tell that the Monster Highs have longer feet while the bootlegged one has shorter feet. The fake ones can put on Monster High shoes, but they are very loose. I would suggest wearing the Monster High boots or something and then put a little paper down in the toes. That way they can fit the shoes. Other than that, they're not going to be able to fit into real Monster High shoes. When it came to measuring the torso, I discovered there was only half an inch difference between the Monster High sizes. So the fake can wear Monster High clothes. They might be slightly a little loose, but it's no biggie. But trying to put the fake's clothes on the real Monster High, the clothes might be too tight or you won't be able to get them on. Can a bootlegged one be a replacement parts for a real Monster High? Well, a real Monster High parts can fit on a bootlegged one, but you gotta remember, a bootlegged is smaller, so that means that their peg is smaller, which only means that the peg will just fall right out of the real Monster High, which makes them not very good replacement parts. One of the flaws that I found in the bootlegged Claudine is that her head is not the same pigment as the rest of her body. Here's some more differences and similarities I found between the two Monster High dolls. Final thoughts about the Monster High bootleg dolls is that they're not too bad for bootleg. You can get them on eBay for $20 for all four of them. You can use them to practice customizing or you wanted that Spider Girl doll but she was way out of your price range. So let me know what you think between the two and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!